How's it going guys? So in this video, we're going to be talking about what's the best programming language for trading. Now, obviously, as you'd expect, it depends. It depends what language you use based on what you need to use it for. That being said, there's a bunch of languages out there, right? We can program in C++. We can program in C Sharp. We can program in Java, in Visual Basic, in VBA. And real quickly, before even I jump into this, uh, if you're doing this series, if you're just watching this video to know what language to use, cool. But if you're doing this series where we'll, we're building an automated trading system, this is an advanced series. So you obviously need to know how to program. Okay, so I am going to be explaining things, but I'm not going to be explaining the basic stuff. So you need to know how to program. You need to know what a stock is, how uh, what a level two, level one, time and sales, uh, moving averages, what these things are, right? Uh, before programming an automated trading system. So yes, I'm going to explain them. But very quickly, uh, so if you don't, then at sometimes you're going to have to pause the video and Google it or look it up and then come back to the video. Okay, so that being said, you have all these languages. Then you have some other languages like MATLAB. Then you got uh, R, you got Python, you got a bunch of languages. Which one are you going to use? Now, I like to separate the languages. You have these type of languages, which I which are different than these languages. MATLAB, R, Python, these are more used for backtesting. People use them for backtesting, for uh, analysis. So when I was doing my master's, I was using MATLAB a lot. Okay, so we were always using MATLAB to, you know, do mathematical computations, analysis, all of that stuff. When I finished school, I started using R because everybody was using R at that time. Uh, MATLAB is very expensive, R is free. Nowadays, everybody's gearing towards Python. Python is the go-to language when you're doing uh, backtesting for trading. So if you if you want to backtest something, I highly, highly, highly recommend using Python, okay? This is going to be for backtesting. So backtesting meaning when I'm looking at a strategy. Oh, sorry, here I'm lagging. Uh, backtesting. Uh, so backtesting is basically when you're looking at a strategy and you're analyzing how it would have performed in the past. Uh, is there anything that you can optimize in it to make it perform better? All of these things, right? So Python would be the language of choice. It's going to be easy implementation, fast implementation. Uh, but these languages are slower than these languages. So then when you're going for implementation, right? Implementation. So when you want to run your strategy, okay? When you want to run your strategy, on the markets, you're not going to use one of these languages. Yes, you could use Python. Yes, you could send your orders through MATLAB, but nobody really does that, and it's going to be slower. So, uh, you know, you, you could use these languages to backtest, and if you're backtesting something super, uh, 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 you know, something like uh, with tick data or quote data, and sometimes these aren't going to be good enough, and you're going to actually have to program them in, in C Sharp or C++. But regardless... Uh, usual backtesting is going to be done in, in that. Implementation needs to be faster, so you're going to do it in one of these languages. Now, that being said, which language are you going to use? You know, Are you going to go with C++? Obviously, C++ is going to be the fastest. Or are you going to use something like Java uh, or C Sharp, which are, which are fast, but you know not as fast as, as C++. Or are you going to use something that, like VBA, which is slow, right? Well, it depends on your strategy. If you're running a strategy from an Excel sheet and it's a super simple strategy and you just get an entry and an exit and you only have to send one order, then cool. You can use VBA and send your orders directly from Excel. But anything other than that, if you're going to be sending a lot of orders, canceling, replacing, the strategy requires a lot of different things, then you're going to have to use one of these languages. Now, what language do we use? We use C Sharp. So we've programmed with all of these languages. We have a bunch of things on different languages. But honestly, right now, I would say 95% of our things are, are with C Sharp. We've, we're, we're really converting everything to C Sharp. Why? Because the speed advantage that you get with C++ is so small that it's not worth it. Unless you're doing something very high frequency. And when I say very high frequency, I mean very time sensitive. Like it's extremely time, time sensitive. We treat things that trade... We're in and out within a few seconds, and we don't even need to use C++ because it's just gonna shave, it's gonna gonna save us micro uh, a few microseconds. It's not gonna make that much of a difference. So it is faster, and it's faster because there's no garbage collection. But then it's harder to program in. 
it's harder to program in because you have to specifically say uh, point to memory addresses where you're saving your your data and then uh, delete this data once you're done there's no garbage collector that just deletes it for you so it's harder to program in a lot more work to save you know not not big of a difference in, in speed it's not gonna change anything for your strategy unless you're super high frequency which I, I I would doubt so that being said I recommend using uh, something like C sharp or Java we use C sharp I find it way uh, just nicer and easier to use and uh, so I really prefer C sharp over all other languages now so in this course uh, or in this series of videos building our algo we're gonna be doing it in C sharp uh, C sharp is gonna work you know with most well, most software, I would think any software is going to work with uh, some languages. You're not going to have a lot of uh, detailed uh, information or examples with with specific languages. So, you know, some training softwares are only going to give you some uh, API connections with C Sharp and uh, VB. They're not going to give you with C++. So there's not going to be examples. So if you're going with C Sharp, it's going to be, you know, the easiest one to use. It's going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot of documentations and a lot of other people who use it. Uh, for, for the stuff so you can Google it as well. So that being said, we're going to go with C-sharp. If you're not familiar with it and you're familiar with another language, honestly, they, they all look the same in the end. Uh, so for programming languages, C-sharp for implementation, Python for backtesting, and I'll see you guys in the next video.